Wow, welcome to twitch.tv slash evil squeegee. I am evil squeegee. That is Sarah P. That's... That is Sarah P. That's me. <laughs> See what I did? Sarah P. That's me. And Sarah P. That's me. Yeah, yeah, so check bad. that out. Alright, <laughs> that guy hanging his head in shame there is Victor Sunshine. This is Zang Mac beneath me, as always. And the carpet DM, who's in the other direction. Man, I got everybody's fucking directions wrong. The whole yep. time I did that was impressive. Alright, if you're wondering, man, why the hell is Evil Squeegee so hot today? It's because I'm baking under these fucking lights. And uh, you guys voted for me to wear this costume, so this is your fault. Both of these is, right here. These. Is that the sheen over all of that uh, flesh-colored surface? Yes. Yes, that is what this is. This is the sweat right here. All right. Uh, and, uh, and today we're playing some Shadowrun. This is Sarah P. That's me's first one-shot. She's her very first time one-shot GMing on, on stream here. And, uh, and I'm having a blast. I've only heard myself out once, though. We're going to try and fix that. Perfect. Oh, wait, we're um, popping her cherry, right? Uh, no, oh, no, we're yeah. chopping her parry. Get it right. I missed out on the chop the other day. Chopping her parry. All right. Yep. Chop, chop, okay. chop, 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 chop. Uh, Alrighty, so you guys have a plan, I believe. Yes. Uh, I believe in yeah. total our, our plan was uh, Carpe Diem and I are going to masquerade as uh, whatever the fuck it is that my contact decided was tongue-in-cheek enough to suit my tastes. Uh, I will leave that in your capable people reading hands, Sarah. <laughs> uh -huh. No pressure. Uh, and <laughs> meanwhile, uh, the, the metahumans here are going to go in the back door <clears throat> with, uh, with uh, their orc friend who is bringing all the, all the shits to the yard, basically. Uh, and they're gonna get yeah. all of, they're gonna get all of that laxative all up in that uh, all up in that food, and that only leaves us finding the girl we have to rescue, uh, the machine we have to sabotage, and the chaos we have to make. But I think I've got that part covered myself. I'm pretty certain just like wanton critical orgasms everywhere will start chaos, especially when they have laxatives in them. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have inadvertently created a poop dungeon. You have you have created a monster, <laughs> Serapy. <laughs> Alrighty then. Wow, cool. I'm really well done, young Padawan. <laughs> That's quite funny because Carpus, the first dungeon, was also a poop dungeon. Yep. Who, and, who's uh, got yep, skills what? in like scouting out people, researching e type stuff? And who's got skills in like tracking and and doing lookout type I stuff? I might I might be able to get some uh, some some like it depend depending on who you're tracking. Like if you're tracking somebody who's in the magical community, I might be able to learn something. Basically, I'm thinking we need to map out the route of this vehicle coming in. If we can prevent it even getting to the venue, then that's that one ticked off. Um, if we can then try and find out where Aaron is and whoever this mage is that's fucking with a mojo, then that's the other part of the plan dealt with. All right. Is that the kind of thing that I could see with astral projection? Or, I'm sorry, uh, perception? Is, is what the kind of thing? Like, seeing her... If I could see her physically, like, I was in the same room with her, could I see or sense the signature of the mage who was had spells cast on her? Probably the best you'd be able to do would be to sense all the, the magical presences that were in the room. Okay. Is there a difference between someone's own magic and someone's magic they are using to control someone else? No. Um, I, 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 I might know this as a, as a spellcaster. Like, is there any sort of like, is there any, any, any like equivalent of a magical EMP? Would that be something that, that was that was existent? That, I would, that would be what you were looking for with the with the astral perception. I suppose on a oh, like very high. What? Like I'm, I'm, I'm like magical EMP is in like poof, no magic here, fuck off. Uh, like oh, shut down. Uh, is, that, is that something that I that I might know existed? If if it you does, you would know. know that it does not exist. Okay, to uh, your knowledge. Right. Uh, I I would like to contact a contact. Okay, contact a contact. I would like to contact Id Id Idina Nystrom. Idina. Idina Nystrom, the Elven Talismonger. Okay. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna uh, to. Contact Adina, she actually does not have a phone. Right. You'd have to go to her location. So okay. uh, we've got we've got a few minutes, boys, right? Uh, this is tomorrow night, so we've probably got plenty of time. All right. Uh, can we meet back here in a couple hours? Sure, we can find out where the machine is coming from then. If yeah, we can go try and scout out a route and find you that. You guys go scout out the route. I'll see if I can do something about, uh, about this mind-controlling mage nonsense. I'll, I'll drive you. I will offer 
down low, my arm. All right, and uh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of elf. I will do the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you head down to talk to Idina. All right. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I, like, uh, knowing this, uh, she doesn't have a cell phone, right? I'm going to assume that I am aware she, she likes her dealing secure. I will actually steer my dwarven companion, not to the shop, but, uh, but a few blocks uh, away of the shop. And I'll have him wait there. And then I will take a nice winding path until I finally uh, arrive at the shop. Okay. And I will walk Ah, in. click it. Idina, Good Idina. to see you. It's been a long time. It has. Where have you been, young lady? Not walking the streets, I hope. Not alone, no. I have friends. Like you. You good, take good, good care. Good to hear. Uh, I find myself in a bit of a in a bit of a pickle. I don't know precisely what's going on. I thought you might be able to help me out here. Oh, uh, what would you need to know? A friend of a friend is apparently in sort of uh, under some sort of uh, magical influence. Uh, oh. And uh, it is in the best interest of both this person and uh, everybody else who has anything a little less than human about them that we decipher and and and, and potentially stop what's going on here. But uh, that's a little outside of my realm of expertise. I know how to make somebody feel something, not how to make somebody do something. I figured you might have a little bit of that expertise and uh, and potentially something that might be of assistance. I have heard tell, yes. So you care to know what kind of magic could possess a person to do a thing that maybe they did not want to do? Yes. Hmm. She thinks, and then she goes to a bookshelf and she pulls out a book and she sets it on the counter. She says, this spell here, known as, Ah, uh, control. Let's control thought. Control emotion. Is it just a spell called control a motherfucker? <laughs> well, you said you know about control emotions, did you not? Uh, well, I'm aware it can happen. I'm a little bit more physical myself. Ah, I see. Go oh, cricket. You need to get a job. Control actions. Okay, a magician could control the physical action of a target. Mm, and the person will become a passenger, essentially, inside their own body. But, ah, uh, wait. There's also one known as control thoughts. Hmm. This would be quite strange and difficult. It works a little bit like hypnosis, you know, darling, where you, uh, you couldn't necessarily do something that would put you in danger. But your thoughts could be controlled, at least to some extent. But I would say that to, uh, to sustain this sort of spell on a person for any length of time would take considerable effort on the part of magician. Unless, and she looks up with like a light bulb going on in her eyes. She goes, do you know what a spell lock is? I imagine I will shortly. <laughs> she <laughs> reaches under the counter and she picks up a small device. Really tiny. It's about this big. Mm -hmm. She says, this is a spell lock. A magician casts a spell on it, and as long as it is touching the person the spell is intended for, the spell will stay on for an indefinite period of time. Okay. With no drain to the magician who cast the spell. Would this be something that a very powerful or potent magician might be hubristic enough to rely on? Almost certainly, yes. Mm, you have been an absolute dream of a help uh npc whose name well, escapes me edina edina <laughs> <laughs> yes cricket yes um and uh i will be back soon you promise to come for dinner puppet you promise me i will i will come I for dinner puppet, not i will come for dinner just not tomorrow night i've got a date <laughs> oh you and your dates you bad girl you with you it. in a few days I'll see you then. And, uh... Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. And I'll step out and, uh, walk a winding path and climb into the car where I assume the dwarf is still waiting for me. Yep. It's a, actually a decommissioned police car. Oh, nice. So I'll climb into the decommissioned police car. Now, she, it was a necklace that she, that she showed me, right? It was, like, a small device. It possibly could be put on a necklace, I guess. Yeah. All right. 
So uh, I will describe the device to the best of my ability, uh, including any and all information I may have acquired that didn't actually happen in that conversation for the sake of the plot's expedience. I'll describe it to him, and I will describe it. I will describe his purpose, right? I'm gonna like. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna tell my head like, without needing to cry, you seem to have a, a, a an echo. And you didn't get one. I need to do I the job to, to get the money. I'm not gonna ask her for something for free. However, the girl we're after is probably wearing one. If you can pinpoint where on the girl's person it is, we can take it off of her, and the spell will probably be lifted. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. That I might be able to do. I just need to get close to her. How close? Well, it depends on how hot she is, I think. Oh, she'll be hot. Trust me. Well, then I'll probably have to get pretty close. We can do that. Oh my. Alright, so you followed up with the lead with the spell lock. Cool. Mm -hmm. And the other two, what have you been doing? Well, well we, we, could, we could go looking, or I could just use my crit to find out this encrypted information. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> sorry. We could go looking, or I could use my crit to find all that information that we use need you, about yeah, the route for this vehicle. Yeah. And that's one do for that. you so far, right? I, I am I am done with crits. He has no more crits. He's actually going to have to roll no real crits. dice. He's going to roll real dice unless somebody feels like liking him. But he's got two botches lined up. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh, all right. So, so, so we, we'll just have some drinks. Do they happen to have any... Can any I waste these here? rolls, OGM of mine? Can I... <laughs> have they heard of a drink called... Druid fluid. They. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever had a, a sex on the botch? <laughs> uh, well, they have absinthe. In your studies, you were able to discover. Hold on, let me pull this up. And I'm going to assume you're going to share this with your mates here. Uh, there's only myself and uh, Angela here right now. But wow. yeah. But eventually you will, so I'm just going to drag you all to. This is an outline of what the place looks like. But it's actually very poor. It's This is kind of an older um, floor plan. You guys are seeing this, right? Yep. I have not yet been yeah, yep. either. It's I in dragged all the players. I'm there. Yeah. This is the uh, what about the route for the vehicle as well? That's there the is a... a Hold on. I, I, again, tiny laptop screen. Uh, there is a road that travels around here that I will draw if I can move my windows. Serapy versus me. Wait, Serapy, that's me. Versus windows. Round one. <laughs> Ding! Fight. Technically, Serapy versus you is also true. There we go. The road travels around this direction. You win. You have to let you be no roof for C, so. Your data seems to be expanding by the second, Zangak. I'm good at what I do. It's true. Your hacking looks mildly like purple and crowns, I like it. And, and now be incredibly shite at what I do for the next two botches. <laughs> <laughs> you right. know. That's, that's what I'm going to be doing too. You're yeah. not alone. You're not you can reasonably alone. expect that at least one of these doors back here is still in existence. And that one of these <sighs> is the front entrance. But again, Genesis Tech is very careful. So is the Orpheum actually owned by Genesis Tech? Is it like one of their buildings? Or is it like a separate place that they have rented out? In his digging, he would have discovered that through a myriad of separate accounts and fake names and things like that, that yes, Genesis Tech does own this building. Uh, we could assume that the, the machine is going to be coming in along this road, right? Yes. Can you cross-reference uh, Yentech with other possible 
places like, along this road that could have the machine. Would I need an additional roll for that by any chance? Nope, you would have to. Nope, hold on, I think I disconnected from Discord. Uh, the fact that she didn't hear me say that. Alright, respawn, restart from the top of Carpe's question, please. I disconnected. Of Carpe's from question? Carpe's question? Was it Carpe's question? I was answering a Victor. question in chat. Victor. Victor asked a question. Victor. Can you ask the question again? Okay, so Victor asked um, were there any other Gentech areas that the basically where the van could be coming from, and the search returned like 250 odd results. So yes, we we do have a list of potential vans that are unmarked. However, there are a lot of them. I think is the general gist of what we got. From so that. we have to destroy it inside. Uh, place. So yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna have to sabotage. wait till it gets here. Okay, so we're gonna sabotage it inside instead of getting it beforehand. I'm so not there. I, gonna... I think we have so... all the boxes ticked now. Do we? Can we guess that they will put it into the entry office first? I mean, they probably won't bring it for the reception area. Probably not from, directly from the van into the main event area. You don't discover that from the computer search, but probably if you got there a little early, you would be able to sort of see, you know, what the setup is, what's going on with yeah. security. And, and as like catering that. staff, we would have the perfect guys for needing to be there early. Mm. Yes. Exactly. And someone can, like, put the detonation door in the fuse box also. If in case we need to cut the lights or something. If anyone uh, is good with devices and stuff. Oh, I'm good with a lot of devices, honey, but I don't know if I'm good with explosives. Oh, well. Uh, I could possibly fuck around with the fuse box, but again, explosives, uh, I don't think are my thing. But anyway, I think we're, I think we're about there. Uh, I think I might know a guy who could set up a, uh, a pretty easy-to-use explosive. Might even be able to make it small enough to not be noticed in the fuse box. With a remote detonator? detonator. Mm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> remote or timed. Remote detonator or a uh, suspiciously disguised, or a, 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 an inconspicuously disguised electrician. We we can just be discussing this over a conference call whilst they're coming back, I assume. Yep. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Since conference call. It's almost like we're on a, like a Zoom chat of some kind. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Actually, actually say, we, say, can, we can both talk to them because I've got a wrist computer. Everything is totally secure and stuff. Fucking smart, rip, smartwatch, really? Yep. Immersion ruined. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody actually owns smartwatches, come on. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, so you calling your contact? Uh, sure, I'll call Buzz. Buzz picks up the phone. Yes? Hey, man. Uh, little uh, low-end demolitions? Uh, possibly on a detonator? You know, I'm really better at fixing things than blowing them up. Yeah, I know. What do you need? Small demolitions with a remote detonator? <sighs> Demolitions, yeah. You got somebody to set it up? Uh, I think so. Not really. I got the piece here. Uh, remote detonator. I can't get that for at least a week. But I got something you can maybe set. Um, cost me 1200 So, what do you say, to 1900 How about that's expensive? It's not that important. Yeah, it is. You're gonna be making twenty grand. Just suck it up. Small demolition. Yeah. I was thinking Stuff's it's more like man. A, I was yeah. thinking more like a backup plan, and if we can't remote detonate it, it feels like we have to. Like, plan more. Yeah, okay. Any way to uh, connect it through a 
a, a data jack connection or something or nah i don't know um probably not data jack um you got a like a fuse box yep maybe through that Ooh. takes some doing though if you don't have i mean if you're not not good with the stuff you blow your face off but you know yeah okay I, th I think I know a guy. All you right. always know a guy. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'll. Yeah. I'll. Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. You can swing by and pick it up. Sweet. I'm it's basically a little bit of. It's like C4 and a and it's on. You could set a timer to it. Basically, you would have to hook cool. it up through um, some wiring though. Okay. Maybe maybe if our uh, electrician technician is good enough, he can set it to go off of a certain light switch or something. Right, he could. <laughs> Do we have any electrician? <laughs> Do you have any what? Not for two rolls. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you have to like persuade the barkeeper to give you something for free or something. Being muted is I'm awesome, guys. Being muted is so oh, cool. No. I love being muted. I was I was totally going on about like, you know, it'd be, it'd be great if there were actually four of us in the group. You know, like if there were four people in the group, we could we could have room for even like having you know somebody who's like good with electronics or computers or something, and that might that might actually work to our advantage. But like with a three man party here, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, I I, I it, it, it is it. rough with just the three of us. Yep. Uh, yeah, the elf and the two humans. No. No, the yeah, no, yeah, Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, it's a, I'm gonna say it's the end of Thursday. Okay. And okay. so you're gonna begin the actual mission tomorrow. For the sake of time, um, the the well, no. Never mind. It's the end of Thursday. We'll play it as we go along. All right. Cool. Yes. All right. Let's go. So uh, what time's this Friday, party starting? Starts at seven, so guests will be arriving about six thirty in the evening. What time would um, uh, Hex and the his two henchmen like to arrive? Like five, five thirty ish, I guess. Okay, cool. Because that's like food prep and all that sort of shit needs to be done. Uh, you guys can take my car. I've got, I've got another thing. But I can... Well, they'll be in the van, will they not? I'm quite sure we cannot take your car and like oh. be a catering service in a police van. Well, it's not a police van. It's just a police, like a decommissioned Even police worse. car. It could be a, what it, I'm it thinking could be, is, you could you could just pretend that your you know your restaurant is named Popeyes Chicken. You'd be quite, you'd be fine. Well, <laughs> isn't Hex bringing like supplies with him anyway, so we can just hook up with him and and go that Probably. way? Probably. Yeah, he would be and bringing that, his van with all of his stuff. And that way, the car is there. Uh, without having to worry about uh, hiding it somewhere. It'll actually just be there. So that we have a way to leave. <laughs> yeah, good call. All right. I, I like the way it's just me bashing on John Abu. It wasn't squeegee at all in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we'll, so. we'll, we'll do that, and we'll arrange to get there for, like, five, half five-ish with Hex. Perfect. All right, and uh, how are uh, the dwarf and I arriving? Uh, in my limo. All right. Uh, I'll get, I, I will, by the way, go get, those, uh, go get those IDs, and there will be some overstimulation, if you know what I mean. Yes. Like, I no, it'll it. actually be overstimulation. Like, I'm not going to... Why, like, you know, why would I, why would I do the, do this when I could do this instead, right? Sure. Yes. I'll leave him in a heap. Perfect. Does this work through spell slots and stuff, or do we have everything here always? What's that? The casting of spells and stuff. Do we always have all the spells, or is it something yes. like? Yes. Yes. So you do. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, the way that that uh. The limitation on spells in Shadowrun. Every time you roll a spell, you also roll drain, which stuns you essentially. And if you get ten boxes of stun, then you're stunned. Huh. All right. Okay. 
So this will be the Orpheum. And I, for everybody in chat, I'm sitting with the with the Rembrandt of um, map making. So this is my kindergarten attempt at a map. I gotta so. see this. <laughs> Yay. I gotta see this. <laughs> this is erection inducing. This is amazing. No, come on. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that this shirt, this this skirt is really short, okay? Like that's that's all I'm saying. And uh and I appreciate I appreciate this map. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Thank you. There's a whole lot Thank of backdoor lot. access and, 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 and skirt short happening right now. Uh as I behold this work of art. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is this it a few spots here? There is Yeah, that looks like a fuse box. <laughs> that looks like a fuse box. Yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got um, early on in the evening, we have our two friends with the uh, hex showing up in their van. In my car. Yeah, were, were you guys planning on showing up super early as well? I'm gonna be punctually on time unless the unless the dwarf thinks or the the human thinks that it's better to be fashionably late. Oh, we should probably be slightly fashionably late. All right, but not right. too much because we don't want to miss anything. Right. Okay. Okay. So this is gonna be the van that our catering guys are going into. Oh my god! I just flipped around. Just like that. I've never seen a van do that in my life. Why is it not putting? Oh, I remember why. So you've got a row of cones here, two security guards. And Victor's big... supposed to be masking us as well, right? Yep, and he has a crit, correct? Yep. All right, so if you're you uh, masking both of you guys, because um... there's three people in the van, right? Yes, I was. Uh, do I roll three separate times for masking, or is it like one roll for all three? You will, if you're going to try to do all three people, oh goodness, that's going to be tough. Um, if you try to do all three people, any other spells that you attempt to cast while you are sustaining these spells is going to be at a plus eight target number, which means base target number for most things is four. So you're looking at, you have to roll a 12 on one of your exploding dice in order to even get a single success on anything. Um, yeah, well. You, will to actually cast the spell you will crit twice on the people of your choice and then you will have to roll once so shall we do just skip the masking and they just pose as you know regular lowly meta humans you can do it that way yeah and i'll like just let you do the talking perfect <laughs> probably better all righty so the van pulls up security guard says all right who are Catering. you Catering. I need to see some ID. Well, we have the food with us. It's going to go bad if we can't get in. Well, we don't typically add anybody in here unless they've got sufficient ID, sir. Especially not your kind. They're both human. Oh, the boss is going to be so angry with us. Your boss is that is. Uh, I mean... Why don't you... My boss, my boss will be fine. He'd rather not eat than see the likes of you around here. Are you sure? Because he ordered uh, the food. Do you have ID or not? Do I have ID? Hex might have ID. You are still muted. I've been muted. Uh, it's up to the GM whether or not uh, my contact with the IDs gave enough IDs for this operation. Or just, yeah, he just... did. Okay, so yeah, you have he ID. Totally well, did. Then I will show yeah, it. You have IDs. Okay, he shows it to you. Um, he's going to roll perception to see if he can detect that it's fake. And you have crits lined up as well. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Shit. Son of a bitch! But then, Victor You're has right. crits as well. <laughs> These fucking auto crits, man. These he fucking says, auto crits. This isn't the correct ID. And you are welcome to contest his um, perception with a spell or with some other skill, something along the lines of negotiation or uh, deception. Okay. 
how does chaos work? Is it really like obvious? Yes. Control emotion. Can I make him really like malleable? Yeah, you can do that. Well, then I will do that. Okay. So, in lieu of rolling, you will crit on your control emotion, and what are you trying to make him feel? That he really, really likes us, and that he wants to say, <laughs> and he like can't really bother with it. All right. So he will um be like ah. Oh. Start to feel like, oh, I've never been so attracted to a metahuman before. Hmm. Magic. Crazy. <laughs> While this other security guard is like coming around the back Jazz and hands. he's going to look into the back of the, um, the van. And not seeing anything illicit, he will come back to where he's standing. And yes, the guy will say, oh, thank you. Thank you for being here on time. We appreciate it. And then they will move the cones out of your way and allow you to pass. Um, no worries. Also, you will notice that there is a van already parked up near the back of the of the the building as well. And you see two guys who look similar to the security guards, but a little bit bigger. And they are moving a large um, item on casters into this door here. That's convenient. Yep. Mm. <laughs> so, shall we drive in? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have control of the car, so. Uh, we would assume Hex is driving. It's yep. his van. Okay. So he'll drive on through. Like literally As through. The... Did you guys see that? I know why. Bro is fuck driving, <laughs> man. That's good. That's a, that's a fantastically illusory van you got going on there, Sarah. There's no wreckage, nothing. Like I'm impressed. This map is incredible. I love it. <laughs> so uh, the other two guys disappear through the hall with the large item. Well, what do you I see. do? Before I, it goes in there, can I use analyze device? Is that like a range string or is it? Yeah, I think you can. That's an, in fact awesome. Can't really see how we cast it. Is it like this cast at force and then the little dice? Say that again. How do I cast it? Uh, you see. will decide at what level you want to cast it, because you you have no crits left, correct? Nope. All right, then you will choose the force. So if you're looking at the spell, at the bottom um, of the spell, it says cast at force one. Yes. And you're going to update that to however you want, how, however high a force you want. Probably you want it to be a four. That's the rating of the spell which you see where it says analyze device and then it has a four next to it. Ah. Perfect. And then you're going to roll that and it's going to ask you how many dice you want to include. And that's from your magic pool. So a magic pool comes into play when you like, it's basically says how long you've been studying magic is essentially what it is. Um, you can roll magic pool to augment your role uh, to see what's happening and also to reduce the drain on the roll. So when you, um, it's going to ask you how many dice you want to use from your pool to cast. And then it, will tell you um, how many do you want to use to reduce the drain. The drain on this is not high. It's a force of the spell divided by two plus one. So you need um, like three successes on that roll in order to avoid taking any stun from that. Okay. So go ahead and I think you have a magic pool of six. Yep. So you can divvy up your magic pool as you would like, whether three and two or three and three four and two, um, your magic pool will refresh on your next turn. Oh, right. Then I take three and three. Okay. So dice, I'm adding just three here then? Yep. I have submitted it, I think. You have what? Ah. 
All right, you're drained, you're fine. You have no stuns whatsoever. Um, you do not have any experience with the device. The object well, I have the knowledge about it. A... Object resistance was a three, so you get one, two. You actually have three successes. Sorry. On that. You can tell that it, you can easily tell it's the device that you're looking for. You can also see that it seems like if you put something in it and then run it, that it will make changes to the thing. Whether or not it will work is uh, kind of in question. Because to you, it seems like this device is a little bit, um, like it's not as refined as it could be. Not as, um, not as up to par as some other machines that you've seen. I will relay this to the group. Okay. And so add that it, it seems quite strange that it is not as, that they would show it at this level, so to speak. But they, they're not done with it anyway, so. Can I roll for like cor uh, Etiquette Corporation to see if it's strange that I show it this early? Um, if you want to know if it seems it's weird that it's early. Yeah, that sounds like a good roll for that. Go ahead. You're looking for a target number of six. Is there like adding pool things here too? Nope, not with a general skill test like this one. Oh wait, I forgot to add the target number. So I press it. How many dice are you taking from pool? Zero. Submit. Zero. Target number. It was six. three. Six. six. Zero. You cannot tell if it's weird that it's early. Oh well. All right. So are you guys going to go in and mess with the food now? Yes. We should start taking the stuff in from the back. Um, okay. I will follow Hex's lead like a subservient manual laborer type. All right. So Hex will go in. And he actually seems pretty comfortable with all of this business going on. Um, he does say to you guys, he goes, Somebody should watch in case another catering truck shows up. Because if the actual caterer does show up. Yeah, I will uh, stand outside and like lean towards the wall and guard for that. Okay, actually, how about I give you tokens? Is that a good idea? <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. So I'll like You're welcome. be by the car and wait. Alrighty further Sweet. developments. I don't have much to do inside there anyway. It's uh, the mechanics we, work. Are we, are we in the kitchen, right? Yeah. So you can head... This is Yeah, this is the kitchen. You can head on in there. Oh, wow. Wall walking. Sweet. Oh, I just clicked and dragged. Sorry. I know. It's fine. Not a big deal. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the kitchen. You can begin doing your dastardly deeds in the kitchen. Um, what are you planning to, well, that's a terrible way to ask that. Um, the food that Hex has brought is not pre-poisoned, shall we say. So you're going to need to see if you succeed on some kind of skill, whether it's just general knowledge or intelligence, to see if you only give people the shits or if you kill them. With automatic watch. <laughs> there, there goes the bonus, there, boys. <laughs> Thank you, nerd herd. We appreciate not necessarily. You. Not necessarily. Honestly. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I tell you what, as he's got the experience, I will play lookout whilst he's doing this. Because he, he said he could do it. Yeah, Hex, Hex, he said that he can do all this, this shit. I, I will go and, like, start, like, helping lay the tables or something. Like, you know, be out of the <laughs> way. But inconspicuously watching to see that no one goes in and uh, interrupts him. Roll for and, being inconspicuous. Yeah. inconspicuous. Roll for being inconspicuous. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna, to be inconspicuous, you're going to roll stealth. Which I botch. Which Rock you botch. Plates. And this security guard, who is also inside, will notice you and will approach you. All right, what do you think you're doing in here? 
Uh, I just moved myself out there, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I um, I, I'm gonna play dumb. <laughs> um, just sitting tables. It's my job. Your job. They let they let people like you in here. We uh, we we're, we're cheap. Uh, well, I know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> You sound so much like Trump at the moment. Mm. I'm afraid that I can't allow you to remain in this area, though, as we're going to have guests arriving shortly. So I'm going to need you to leave. Uh, I can go back to the kitchens, boss. All right. Get on out of here. That's your botch on yourself. You have one botch left. Yay. He's going to remain suspicious, though. And we'll see if he notices what you guys are doing. Okay. So Hex is able to apply the correct amount of poison. And I know that it has gotten into the evening time. Does Hex's role count as a GM crit? <laughs> yes. Woo! I am all about that right <laughs> I was now. actually thinking that uh, we could run in before anybody had eaten anything and been like, holy crap, we just heard blah, 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 blah. But this works too. Well, see, I wouldn't would have known that I would have fucked it up or anything. That, so, oh, that's yeah. true. So the others of you, it gets to be the evening time. And you are arriving in the limo, correct? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Have you and I'm wearing me? a tux. I'm wearing a limo. A what outfit. the fuck? I I had some extra money. Uh, what am I wearing, Carby? Uh, I don't know. What do you have? Nothing. Uh, uh, has Hex done his thing, by the way? Probably not. Probably nothing ap ap yes. appropriate to the event. So if we're buying tuxes, okay, then I'll 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 buy. Something nice. Doll, doll me up. Doll me up. Do it. Yeah. Is that another grand? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. I'll and are it. you buying armored clothing or are you buying just regular? I'll I'll pay I'll pay out of my share for my clothes. I just don't I need okay. the money before I can do it. Okay. Okay. Um but yeah, I've I've got a tux and then I've got a lined leather coat over it. Okay. All right, can I get the same thing he's got, just slutty? Yeah, you can have armored clothing that's slutty. And Hell that's yeah. Gonna be Hell yeah, I can, make, I can make nerds on the internet rage for days about slutty armor. Let's do this! <laughs> Before we get out of the car, remember, uh, don't, don't eat any of the food. Oh, I was thinking about eating something else. Well, oh then, uh... Namely, all long this as delicious it wasn't success. Poisoned. Get your mind out of the Sounds car. Sounds good. I'll, I'll climb up out of the car with Carpe. And my driver's gonna take the limo back home. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So this fancy car that I got for you is just gonna go away. Cool. Yep. Thanks, though. Sweet. Oh, you're welcome. All right, here is your tokens. And let me do a little setting up. Uh, whilst you're doing the setting up, can I say to Hex, like, once he's done his thing, he's more than welcome to uh, make himself scarce, and, and we've got our own way of getting out. I wouldn't want him to get into any more trouble than necessary. Sure, yeah. So he'll take off in the van. You do realize we just let, took away our only escape vehicle. I already have that sorted. Don't worry about it. Oh, well then. I, I thought one of you guys drove to my car and met him there. Nope. I've got a badass way out. Don't you worry about it. Oh, nice. Please tell me we're okay. going to like punch a hole in the floor and become mole men for the rest of our lives. That would be metal as fuck. I, like I didn't bring that. these shovels for nothing. Excellent! <laughs> did did dig, you have dig, time dig, to... Oh. Deal with the fuse box? Nope, not yet. Because that security guard has been watching you. Damn it. Uh, I've not actually seen you since the previous evening, so you've got the bomb. I do not. Uh, I oh. have nothing. 
Well, I guess that's probably for the best, because I can hide shit in my coat like nothing. Uh, oh man, are those bitches? <laughs> <laughs> bitches and hoes. Hold on, hold They're on. We're gonna, we're gonna give the stream a nice, good look at these bitches. Please tell me you found them by searching for bitches. Is that... Yes. Hell yeah, Sarah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Sarah. I feel, I feel the correct answer is yes in this instance. Yeah, I'm all about this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they look like bitches. <laughs> None of those are my ladies. I still hide out by the door, but still watching for oh my God, there's a, there's a, there's if their actual food for some bitches. reason comes up. They're twin bitches. Look at this. There's these bitches over here, right? It, and then these same twins. bitches over here, there's like... Oh, is, is there more? Is it... <gasps> There's triple. There's three pairs of triplets. Are there? Are there? I, I'm. I'm. I'm looking. I'm looking. Well, Eek. three. So, are you guys gonna oh, mingle triplets. in the party? Hell yeah! I'm gonna go yeah. find some triplets. Let's do this. I, I'm gonna wash the dishes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sabotage the machine yet? Hey man, come with me. What? What? Fine. Where are we going? Where are we... Is this with you enough? Huh? Yeah. Huh? This... I will cast mask on myself. I'll hold the door open. Who would you like to mask as? Well, oh, I have to like imprint on people and stuff like. Mm-hmm. Can I mask as like this one? Or like this one? Uh yeah. Go ahead and roll for it. I believe target number is a four, and you currently have no detriments or anything, so you should be able to do it fine. Wait. However many so... successes you get, that's what what my NPCs would need to roll to um, to see if they can tell that you're not what you seem. So I cast it for force for them, sure. if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And then free and free. You take no drain, and they would have to roll a two to see so if they crappy. see you. Yeah. Well, you didn't roll very well, man. <laughs> so you are currently masked as this person at a two. I am not going to go to the trouble of giving you the handle of that token. I'm just no not quick enough at it, so we will. I will just keep that in mind. Okay. And for the people who just arrived to the party, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to. Uh, we we still have uh, we still have uh, water nuts to find, right? We gotta find water nuts, and we gotta find yep. uh, the machine. Oh, right. we know where the machine is. Okay, we well, know where I the know machine where is. Where we okay, don't. so, so uh, I... do do we do? Were we told that you were gonna handle the machine? Nope. All right, so I need to I need to locate the machine. And I need to locate water nuts. Okay. Yep. I so... will enter the kitchen and cast that uh, spell on Abraham too. The masking so, spell. I might even drop my own and then just sneak out afterwards, and then like in that way, drag attention towards me instead of him. Okay. So I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to be mingling as much as physically possible while occasionally just you know giving a glance out of the crowd. There's uh there sure. there's everybody is in search their entire lives is just that one the one bitch you know what I mean? Like I am I am after I'm after the one that you're gonna get into a giant cat fight with. That's much better. Uh I I don't well, that know. that is a lot better. I might I might just strike her with overbearingly uh, powerful orgasms just on the spot. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> that might be an interesting uh, distraction. I'm okay, going to look wait for uh, for Aaron. <clears throat> so you're going to look for um, magical presences in the area? Yeah. Okay. I will uh, go out again, but like not in a sneaky manner, but you know, so and hope nobody notices me. So I look like a, like a regular person right now, do I? Yep, you look like a human woman, actually. 
<laughs> like, wow. Good, like squeegee. <laughs> like this person. <laughs> Um, are we going with the double bearded lady thing here? Is that what's happening? Well, mask will actually like completely conceal any of that. It will re like your body type and your face will all change. Your clothes won't, but all of that will. What about my voice? No, that, that does not change. So have fun. All righty. Uh, so, uh, Siebes is certain currently looking for magical presences. And you have, I believe, two botches and a crit lined up. Is that correct? I believe that's true. Okay. You can sense, all you can sense then from your astral perception is that there are magical presences in the room. Um, you know that they are over here and here. I only caught the here. second one because I was zoomed in too far. That's okay. Up here. Okay. Near the head table. And then down at the bottom yep. by the closet. Yep. And then one up by the tux guy bar. Over here too. You're not sure if it's one or two presences per um, area. Could okay. be one or two. All Probably right. More than that. And now that's one botch for you. Cool. Ooh, double botch on a non lethal thing. <laughs> And uh, uh, Kit is looking for the one, which she crits. She finds her. <laughs> so I, I, find, I find the chick that we're looking to rescue, right? Okay, okay. I, that was You're what I meant by the, the actual one. girl. Yeah, I was looking for the girl. Okay, okay. Yes, you are actually able. Oh man, with your crit, yes, you are able to find her, and she is. Hold on. Over here at this table. Okay. With this guy here. Okay. Uh, am I able to determine whether or not she is uh, wearing one of these spell locks? She is, in fact, wearing a spell lock around her neck, yeah. Okay. Uh, and do we recognize that as the CEO? Would you like to... See if you can see if that's a CEO. I mean, his there. name is right up under the Sweetie. token, so. Uh, what am yeah, I that's down? why I'm I was down after. To six. You're down to six. I'm down to six, so this would be number six. Uh, I would. Would you like me to do it? I I, I I would I would like to have a uh, I would I would like to make a general perception check to identify as many of the uh, potential interferences as possible. Okay, the, let's do that. All right. So. so down to five crits, and you see also, kind of hanging out over here, is another magic user. She seems very strong. In fact, you would suspect, given your crit, that that's actually the combat mage that Pearl mentioned. Okay. At the beginning. Um. um okay, so so Mrs. Gaudier down there is the combat mage. Yes. Okay. And there are also two security guards on either side of the podium. There are two security guards on either side of the podium. I don't think that I had my button held down. Sorry. No, you did. You did. Oh, good. Also, given your crit, you can see that the machine in question is located right there on the stage. Okay. Um... So, uh, sabotaging is going to be rather difficult, I assume? Yeah. Well, I mean... As long as we can get them to put somebody other than a metahuman in there, it should be not as big a deal. Well, that's going to have to be on Victor. Because he's, the he's the one who can make them think that what they're putting in isn't, is what's supposed to go in. Hopefully not resulting right. in a casualty of whatever they feed into the machine. But that wouldn't be on us. That would be on them. They're the ones that did it. You'd have to argue with the Johnson about that. And how eager do you think they are to part with 20 grand? I don't know. I mean, we could always just strike them with overwhelming orgasms until they give us the money we want. Eh, that might work. <laughs> um, so, 
I'm gonna gently guide Kit a, uh, a little bit away from uh, the the gaggle of women folk that we're currently standing near. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I'm gonna say, uh, do you have uh, much non-lethal? Oh yeah, the orgasm thing. I Never will, mind. Uh, I will uh, in, in hushed, you know, as if this is just casual conversation. Blah 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 blah. Uh -huh. Right, you know, like being careful not to be too particularly overheard. I will inform him of every last single threat. Uh. And, uh, and inform him that I have spotted the spell lock. And she's okay. wearing it around her neck. Uh, I think I might be able to make... A, if there was some sort of small distraction, I might be able to get the spell lock off of her. Without being caught. Do we I'm, still have some can talk to each other? On as, uh, as somebody who has relied for the majority of their Shadowrunning career, I assure you, on, uh, on, on delivering orgasms to people who... Uh, who, who the inconvenient orgasms at... At any given opportunity is how I've done most of my shadow running at this point in my career. I imagine. Uh, I imagine I'm also good with my fingers and might be able to, uh, might be able to acquire a necklace if need be, uh, provided there was some sort of distraction. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna grab a drink from this waitery type looking individual, and whilst they're in their little cohort away from the group, I want to go over to them. You're grabbing a drink to drink. No, of course not. But one does not simply walk around in something like this and not have a drink in hand. I just don't. Well, have especially to drink if you look like a serving person. Oh, I thought. Yeah. What did he mask you me are, as? As you are currently masked. Yeah, one yeah. of the waitresses. Yeah. He has the face of the service person. He still has his own clothes. Oh, you, I thought you said I was like, like, like a get. Okay, I don't want to do that then. I, I, I will retract that. Sorry. So I, I want to go over to them. Um and uh, I, I look human though, right? I don't look like me. Right, right. Just wearing your your clothes, which I would I recognize that. Like, do I know this is Zang walking up to us? Uh, no, you'd have to roll perception. Oh, and you have it's to okay. get a five. I, I, okay. you're, you're away from the group, right? Yeah, I'm away from the group. So I, I'll be I'll be coming up to them, and I'll just sort of casually slide up, stealthy as you know, not ma not making any like waves. I'll be like. I've heard they uh, employ uh, subhumans in the kitchen. I wouldn't touch the food. With a really deep with voice with my <laughs> with my dwarf voice, yeah. Do, do I do I still need to make a reception check? Oh. Or is Jessica enough of a tip off here? Like <laughs> the name's Mary. <laughs> Uh, Should we do top oh, of the that's hour? Beautiful. It is. It is top. Yes. Of the hour. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna say no. You probably do not need to make a perception okay. check, given that you already know what they intended to do. No, you won't need to. Do yeah. That. Okay. Uh, I just, I just Although, wanted to make okay. certain, like you may have called for it. I don't know. Like you might be intimidated by my, uh, by my, my big, beautiful, natural crits. Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say that um, that Those are not he's natural. The botches on his perception, and he's like, "What the fuck is this chick with this voice? <laughs> What's with all these women with these man voices going on around here?" What is happening? Wait, so what? Who botched your second botch? Carpe there. diem. There, carpe carpe, carpe yeah. diem. Damn it! I was trying to botch to be stealthy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like, he's like, I wouldn't try the food. I hear they employ meta humans. <laughs> And then like walks off, right? And uh and Carpadium is like probably into a table or something. Yeah. Alright, so shall we top of the hour? Yeah, let's top of the hour. I, I gotta get out from these yeah. lights. This wig is really kicking my ass today. Um 